Hey guys, another video for the Modern Japanese Architecture playlist. Ironically, this is a modern building in that it is new, but it's actually quite an interesting construction. The first thing we wanted to show you was the roof. It looks like the traditional tiled roof that we've showed you before on the previous videos. But in actual fact, that is a copy material. The, the original material, the roofing material, is extremely heavy and that makes it difficult for structures to take the weight but it also means in an earthquake pieces can fall off and can be very dangerous but also that the weight of the roof itself can bring down the whole house and that's quite common in earthquakes so that's a modern material copy version that's much much lighter and also also cheaper so it looks like the original japanese roof but it's not but what we found the most interesting is this wall now some of you have been following those videos on the old japanese farmhouse uh, videos of the renovation there would have remembered seeing these walls that are actually made with bamboo that is tied together with string in a grid and then the wall is packed with mud from the inside because obviously what they want is they want the smooth surface to be on the inside so they pack it against the bamboo and push it in like render it in with a with a trowel to make it smooth on the inside and to push it through the bamboo so it stays in place. So isn't that amazing? Bamboo and string. Bamboo and string and all just tied together and then tied to the frame. And you can see it's done on the inside so that the inside surface ends up reasonably smooth. Now obviously as we showed you before with these walls they first look sort of cracked and rough like that and then what happens is after that's dried they come along and they put one of these rendered surfaces over the top and these are much smoother they usually have some color in them this one's got color and fiber a sort of a fibrous fibrous type mix in with the with the render and then it's rendered straight over the top so it's sort of like an old <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of years old version of wallpaper sort of thing the end result because it's sort of a paperous fibrous sort of mix this particular style this one this style is slightly different this is more just like colored mud it's a really really fine render and it usually they put some sort of coloration in it to make it a color so they've got green and brown is sort of traditional there's another fibrous one again So if you find yourself, if you're in Japan and you find yourself in a room with one of these sort of walls, you've got to be really careful not to knock it with your, with your belongings or bump it with anything because this stuff is really easily damaged. And if you damage it, if you take the top off it, it shows the surface behind it and it's really hard to fix. You can't really patch it. You end up having to do the whole the whole square or if you do that you really have to do the whole room because trying to match the colors is really really difficult particularly when the walls get older it's really really hard to match the colors so we have to be really careful in these rooms not to bump them and they're easily damaged as you can imagine it's a soft mud render so even after it's dry it's still sort of easily damaged so the greens and the browns are sort of the older style So it's quite amazing. You can go in a house here that's 200 years old and you'll see the same style wall and here they are now in 2014 making a house with exactly the same style of wall. Isn't that incredible? So obviously they've maintained the skill along the way. They've maintained that, that trade and they're still doing it exactly the same. As you saw in the old farmhouse, it's exactly the same as that. The same pattern. It looks like the same wall as what we showed you in the Japanese farmhouse, the old farmhouse. So great isn't it obviously a great insulator it's a good insulator for sound so it makes the house nice and quiet on the inside but also it's a good insulator for temperature so it keeps the house helps keep the house warmer in winter and cooler in summer very good natural insulator a mud wall a mud wall house isn't that excellent anyway hopefully found, someone found that interesting more videos coming soon.